Hey guys, this is Genevieve. In this video, we're going to learn how to install and use layer styles in Photoshop CC. In this example, I use the watercolor layer styles that I created for my watercolor toolbox, but the basic principles are the same no matter the layer styles that you use. So the first thing you want to do is to open the layer panel and also the style panel. If you don't see them already on your screen, no worries. Just go on the top in the menu and click on window, and then you'll see layers. Just click on that and styles. Just click on that. Then you also want to make sure that the styles that you want to use are installed on your computer. If they're not because you just downloaded them, you might have to go in the hamburger menu here at the top of the layer or sorry, the style panel. Just click on it and go to import styles. You're going to look for a file that has the extension .asl. In our case, it's this one. We're just going to click on, well, for you it's going to say open probably, but my computer is in French, so it says ouvrir. And see, it's going to add this little folder in your styles panel. So like I said, for this example, we're using my watercolor layer styles. And the way I've set up this file is there are two different type of styles. There's the base layer styles and the detail layer styles. A couple little interesting things to know about layer styles, especially the ones in, in this bundle, is they work really well on layers that don't have a background. So for example, a text layer will not have a background, a logo probably or a vector shape will not have a background or a shape that you trace from the, the shape tools in here. It doesn't matter if the actual file has a background like this one, that's, that's all good. As long as the layer you're using the effect on doesn't have a background, you're ready to go and it's going to work really, really well. Once you have everything ready, it's really super easy to apply the style to your layer. You literally just go to the style panel, select the style that you want and click on it. Um, you can go and just kind of take a look at all the little different base layers and find one that you like to start with. I like the number eight, so I'm going to start with this one. But I'm not quite sure of how I like the positioning on this little blotch here. It just doesn't look quite as, as good as I'd like. So I'm going to go in my layer panel right here. I'm just going to make it skinnier. There we go. And on the right, you'll see you have little effects uh, icon. If you double click on that, you're going to open the layer style panel. And in this layer style, you get to really tweak all the different effects. That's not necessary. You can get really good results without getting into that. But if you're really into the nitty gritty, you can just go and tweak every little setting. We're going to go to pattern overlay. And that's where you get to adjust the pattern. In my case, I said this little blotch, I didn't like the positioning of it. So if you don't like the positioning of the pattern, you can just click on your, your surface or your layer and, and drag it along. You can also just play around with the scale. In this case, it's a two, uh, 216, which is not optimal. You try to stay um, within 100%. You can go lower, but try not go over because then it's going to get Blurry for a watercolor effect, it doesn't really matter as much, but still. So let's see what would have happen if I put it a hundred. See already the texture is just just a bit better. I'm gonna move it around, and yeah, I quite like that. I can change the opacity as well if I think it's too light or too dark. Great, I like this. I'm just gonna click on OK. And then I'm going to hide all these specific effects by clicking on this arrow. The really cool thing with layers, depending on how they're built, obviously, is that you can layer them. So if we go ahead and duplicate this layer by just dragging it onto the little plus symbol at the bottom, there you go. You can go and open the detail layers and click on any of them. And it's going to just layer the effect on top. Well, that's not a really good example. Um, but see this one, it looks really, really cool. It might be a bit dark, but again, if we go in the, the settings, 
of the effects, pattern overlay, I can just make it a bit lighter, I can move it around and get something really cool. And if I want even more texture, I just duplicate it again and go and select different effect. Um, you have 40 in this pack, so <laughs> there's plenty of room to move around and just find one that you like. And again, you can go and just tweak it until you get something that you're really, really happy with. But I'm going to stop here just for the sake of, of length. But see, you already are getting something that looks way cooler. Something that is also really cool is that you can still edit the layers on which you have your layer style. So for example, this text layer, well, I'm going to add the duplicate. This text layer, if I decide that I want to talk about layer styles instead of layer style, just single layer, I can select it, add an S and C, the effect just automatically adapts. If you duplicated it, you're going to have to add the S on all of them. And then it, it just works. It, there's no need to reapply the effects or anything. Another cool little thing is if, you, if you're using the watercolor toolbox that I created, there is also a pre-textured file for Photoshop. And that's kind of a, a sneak peek of it. But you have layers here at the top that you can just turn on and see it adds this uh, watercolor paper texture and it's just even more realistic than it was. And also if you're using again the watercolor toolbox, you have brushes included that has, for example, the splatters. And that's, in my opinion, the key element to making it look even better. It's a bit small. Is to add some, some splatters around it. And there you have just this really, really cool watercolor effect that took you a few minutes to create. Or if you didn't go into the settings like I did, a few seconds to create. And that is fully editable. If you're interested in the layer styles that I use in this video, you can check them out. I'm going to link the watercolor toolbox in the description below.